What's up guys, it's Rogue here and welcome to another amazing video on the channel. So for today, I am here with the Sprite yet again. You guys seem to enjoy the deck profile very, very much. If you haven't seen that video, make sure you do check that out before we get to the combo guide, which is this video, so you guys know the ratios and the reasoning behind playing the cards that I play. So for today, as per requested, I will be showcasing all of the Sprite generic combos so you guys that don't know what the deck does can get a very good idea of how the deck plays and then you can make the decision if this is the deck that you want to be taking into this format and next format as well if you do enjoy this type of content make sure that you do smash that like button comment down below do you think sprites are good or not this format and subscribe if you are new we are almost at 3,000 subscribers guys so let's make sure that happens before the end of the month of august that's the goal so without any Further ado, let's get into combo number one. So for the first combo I'm going to be showcasing, it involves just one Nimble Beaver. This combo will be playing under or through Nibiru, which means we'll be making the Gigantic Sprite early. But I will also showcase in combo number two, not making the Gigantic Sprite early and how that changes the board. So Starting off this combo, we're going to normal summon our Nimble Beaver. We're going to use a Nimble Beaver effect, special summoning a Nimble Angler from the deck. We're going to commit to the Gigantic Sprite nice and early so that our opponent is locked out of Nibiruing us later in the combo. And also allowing us to, by detaching Angler, special summoning a Sprite Monster directly from the deck. We're going to special summon our Sprite Blue. Sprite Blue is going to trigger, grabbing us Sprite Jet. And now we can special summon Sprite Jet since we have a level 2 on the field or rank 2. And use its effect, we're going to grab a Sprite Starters for follow-up for next turn or during our opponent's turn. If we want to spell and trap negate, we can use it as well. Now, we're going to link these two away. We are going to make our Sprite Sprint, preferably in this column so that we have a zone to, to link summon into. We'll use Sprite Sprint effect. We'll be sending our second Nimble Angler from the deck to the graveyard. And now that triggers the angler, special summoning us two more nimble beavers directly from the deck to the field. Now we have a choice. We can go straight into a IP play. And then we have the IP SP combo with uh, the sprint having a bounce as well of the beaver. By detaching the beaver from the sprite, we have a bounce. Or we'll do a new combo that I like, which is actually making the rabbit. Sorry, I apologize for the proxy. This is the new illusion rabbit that's come out. And now the rabbit will be able to trigger, sending us directly from the deck, a Azarune. Now, unfortunately, these links cannot be linked off, which is annoying. But what we can do is, during our opponent, we'll set the starter as well. And then during our opponent's turn, we can activate the Azarune. And now we also have a summon negate as well. So we have a summon negate, a bounce. This will be able to pop a spell or trap when this is summoned. So we can hold it if we needed to. And we have the sprite starter able to summon either Sprite Red or Sprite Carrot for a monster or spell and trap negate as well. I remember this was one with one card guys, so we'll have four other cards to play with, hopefully hand traps. And then if we live till next turn, even if this is detached, we would simply be able to use a level two and a sprint, make another gigantic Sprite and start our combos once again. So for combo number two, I'm going to be showcasing the different variant that we can do with Nimble Beaver. This does not play under or through Nibiru, but it ends us with a Omni Negate instead. So we're going to normal summon our Nimble Beaver. We're going to use the effect. We're going to summon Nimble Angler from the deck. We're going to commit straight to a Link Summon of Sprite Sprint. Use the Sprite Sprint effect. It's going to be able to send another Nimble Angler. Angler effect, two Beavers. With the two beavers, we're going to overlay, we're going to make our gigantic sprite, we're going to use the gigantic sprite, we're going to summon from the deck a swap frog. Now, swap frog effect is going to send mirror mage of the ice barrier, mirror mage effect, going to grab us the freezing chains of the ice barrier. Activate the freezing chains, reborn the mirror mage, and now we can overlay and make my favorite Xyz monster in Totally Awesome. Now this is a lot 
Oh, this is a simpler combo. Obviously, we don't have the follow-up because we don't have the starter. If we had any sprites, that would be fantastic. We can then summon them and do amazing things, but that will be in the next combos. But for now, what do we have from the board? Well, we have a Omni Negate from a Totally Awesome. And then when Totally Awesome goes to the graveyard, we'll be able to actually grab us back a Nimble Beaver. And then on summon, Nimble Beaver can reborn a Nimble Beaver from the grave, giving us immediate access to a gigantic sprite again, allowing us to kickstart our sprite combo during our next turn. Also with the Sprint, we would be able to detach a card from the Toad, being able to bounce something as well. So we have an Omni Negate, a bounce, and follow up with this combo. Doesn't play through Nibiru, sadly. But let's get on to the next combo. So for this combo, I'm going to be showcasing exactly what one sprite starter can do. This is again included as part of the one card combo. So it's three sprite starters, three nimble beavers. And we also, of course, have the foolish burials and the way and the swap frogs. And that usually ends with 10 one card starters, making the deck quite consistent, to be honest with you. So how does sprite starter work? Well, we're going to activate sprite starter in the draw phase. We're going to summon our sprite blue and take 1,100 points of damage use the sprite blue effect and we're going to grab us the sprite jet we do this in particularly in the draw phase because during the draw phase they cannot activate the effect mailer and they cannot draw us on resolution of the add of jet now what can we do well we're going to special summon our sprite jet and we're going to add the sprite double cross from our deck to the hand now we are going to link away into a link two of the sprite sprint sprite sprint effect send the nimble angler angler summon the two nimble beavers now with the two nimble beavers overlay make a gigantic sprite gigantic sprite effect we're going to detach one and we're going to summon our swamp frog make sure that we summon actually the sprite not in the arrow of the sprint swamp frog effect we're going to send the mirror mage to the graveyard mirror mage effect we're going to grab the freezing chains activate the freezing chains reborn the mirror mage and now with these two we're going to overlay into a totally awesome so why is it important that we keep the zone underneath the sprite free? Well, that's exactly why we added the double cross. So we'll be able to set the double cross and pass our turn. During our opponent's turn, this may not seem like a lot of disruption, but it's actually two Omni Negates and a bounce with follow-up. So really, really crazy. If our opponent does summons anything that we don't like, we'll use the sprint effect. We will detach the mirror mage and bounce. So we could use the swamp frog in or the totally awesome effect in the standby phase to summon a swap frog, swap frog dump, swap frog, thinning our deck, but also that makes us viable to super poly. So be just weigh up the pros and cons as you like. Now, if our opponent does anything, totally awesome effect, we're gonna be able to just send it to the graveyard, negate and set the card if we wish. We're gonna have the totally awesome effect, grabbing back the nimble beaver straight from the graveyard back to our hand, which is amazing follow up. We can now activate the sprite double cross and actually just special summon the totally awesome back to the zone that the sprint points to, which is why it's important we keep it free. Now again, totally awesome is not once per turn, we can just use the effect, send it to the graveyard, negate something else, and grab more cards for follow-up if we wish. So in this case, for example, we could grab a swap frog. So that's two Omni Negates, follow-up. And obviously, if the gigantic sprite lives, we'll be able to just use its effect in the draw phase and start our sprite engine once again. So now let's show you the fourth and final combo. So for the final one card combo, I'm going to be showing you exactly what one, one swap frog can do. So we're going to normal summon our swap frog. We're going to use the effect. We're going to send the mirror mage from the deck to the grave. Mirror mage effect. Grab us the freezing chains. Activate freezing chains. Summon the mirror mage. This is where we usually go for totally awesome, but if we want to extend, we can't, sadly. We actually got to go for the gigantic sprite, use the effect, actually able to summon blue, blue effect, summon, grab jet, summon jet, jet effect, grab starter. Now with these two, send these to the graveyard, and we are going to summon our sprite sprint. Sprite sprint effect, we are going to be able to send the angler, and now we're going to use the anger effect, allowing us to grab two beavers from the deck. Now from here, we have the choice. We actually have, we can go for an Xyz play. We can go for a link play. If we go for a link play, we can make either, well, if we go for the Xyz play, we can go for the Jin Buster, which is nice. Or we can go for the IP Mascarena, or we can go for the Rabbit. I like the Rabbit because the Rabbit allows us to just set the Azarune directly from the deck to the field. 
and now we have the sprite starter as well being able to summon us a red for example if we needed a monster negate so how many disruptions do we have well we have the red that could send either the sprint or the rabbit and then we have the sprint that's a bounce and we also have the azarum that is a monster negate as well all through one card remember if we didn't want to make the rabbit we could obviously just make the ip instead and then we can summon a blue for example blue such jet for follow-up and then we can use the ip with the blue and make a sp for further disruption and we still have the bounce we wouldn't have the azarum though we would also have we needed the monster gate summon red use the monster gate and then ip make it into sp we have a lot of choices or you can just straight up make the Dijin buster and then you can just negate a monster effect as well from anywhere so that is the end of this sprite combo guide i hope i showed case what the well all the one card combos you can do obviously if you open more than just a one than one way of getting to an xc's you can make toad you can make multiple cards and have multiple toad negates hopefully i'll be able to showcase you that in the live test hand video but until then i hope this was a great beginner's guide to how do sprite work how do the combos work how can the deck be utilized and how are the combos optimized well i hope this was a great start and i'll see you all in the next video it's time to... Let's go.